Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ken, also known as Mr. Ken Dennis. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I minimize my wrinkles. Hey, so let me tell you about myself. I am 29 years old. I am male, obviously. I have got some fine lines. I have got some wrinkles. Granted, they're not super noticeable, but that's also because of the skincare routine that I've got at the moment. And I find that this really, really helps to make sure that my skin stays as supple and as youthful for longer. <laughs> like I know I'm only just delaying the clock there's really no way you can just avoid it but if you are experiencing some fine lines and wrinkles you don't really want to get into like Botox and stuff like that check out hyaluronic acid because that is going to definitely change your skin and that brings us to today's sponsor all this suticals yes your girl is getting some sponsorships these days um so they have recently released a seaweed collection or seaweed range i should say so there are two key ingredients here that are going to hydrate your skin which is seaweed and hyaluronic acid now both ingredients are known for the hydrating purposes but the main star for this particular serum is the hyaluronic acid now hyaluronic acid i'm sure you guys have heard this term being thrown around all the time and you probably see it in a lot of skincare. Um, I personally like hyaluronic acid in a serum form because I feel like that's the most concentrated and traditionally serums tend to be the most concentrated form of that ingredient. Um, I have fine lines and wrinkles pretty much just on my forehead around the eyes and I do find that um, a hyaluronic acid in my skincare routine makes a huge difference and whenever I don't use a hyaluronic acid um, for an extended period of time and I'm not talking just like a day or two I'm talking about like almost a week if I don't use a hyaluronic acid I do notice a difference in my skin like I don't know like with, when I'm not wearing makeup like my fine lines and wrinkles aren't very obvious but when I do wear makeup I do find that sometimes the makeup does crease in these like wrinkles up here now again this is really just to help minimize wrinkles it's not going to completely get rid of it so if you guys don't want to go down the botox kind of route um definitely check out um hyaluronic acid so i'm going to do a bit of a demo and i'm also going to talk to you guys about the benefits of hyaluronic acid and what i have experienced with hyaluronic acid now i find once you've washed your face um the best way for hyaluronic acid to really penetrate deep into the skin is to make sure that the skin is still quite moist um so it's still a little bit of moisture like a little bit of water. Uh, obviously my face is now dry so I'm just going to spritz my face with some water. Um, so it says here on the back just use as much as you want and I find with this particular hyaluronic acid maybe two drops is enough and I apply it pretty much as soon as I spritz um, because it needs to be sort of still wet. The reason being is because hyaluronic acid does draw moisture into the molecules and you really want it to draw it into the skin. If the skin is dry, it's going to pull the moisture out of your skin um, instead of, you know, pushing it into the skin. So as long as the skin's still kind of like wet and still a bit moisture still in there and you put the hyaluronic acid in there, um, it's actually going to draw that water into itself and then in turn draw it into the skin so that's why you want to do it in that particular step after that I just grab my favorite um, moisturizer or the night cream that I'm using at the time and then I just massage it on top another helpful tip when it comes to serums hyaluronic acids in general is to make sure that your skin is exfoliated quite often um, so maybe like two or three times I think that's a pretty decent frequency when it comes to exfoliating the reason being is because you don't want to have too much like dead skin cells on top of the skin impeding the the maximum penetration or absorption of the hyaluronic acid essentially so as long as you exfoliate quite regularly you put the serums on when your skin's still a bit moist and then you put your moisturizer straight after you'll get the best benefits of the hyaluronic acid now when it comes to affordability i think that's a big thing when it comes to skincare because you want to spend as little as possible but get bang for buck luckily all the studios are selling this for only 18 australian dollars and you get how many mils 15 mils which is a pretty decent amount honestly I feel like with this, um, you'd get a good two or three months use, um, especially if you use it morning and night, which I tend to do morning and night. Um, and it just really makes a huge difference in my skin, like I said. Um, and really, when you think about it, $18 for two or three months, that's that's a bargain girl now if you guys would like to know where to buy this i'll have a link down in the description box down below where you guys can purchase this also the beauty with hyaluronic acid serums is that you can mix them in with another serum um, because they are quite i wouldn't say plain but they're quite stable to mix with 
other serums. So if you guys would like to mix them in with other things, you can do that. Um, so all the cuticles do have other serums as well. They sent me pretty much the entire range. Um, so I'll quickly show you guys um, what they are. So we have this one. This one is the CoQ10 Firming Serum. Now this one is designed to firm and promote youthful skin. Um, and then we have the Ceramide Moisture Serum. Um, this one improves and repairs dry skin, irritated and sensitive skin. Now ceramides are also used for dry skin. So if you guys have very very dry skin I suggest um, mixing this in with the hyaluronic acid and then a bam girl you guys are going to see a huge difference in your skin and then you also have the niacinamide brightening serum um, so it helps reduce blemishes and brightens dull skin tone as well and then they also have the oligopeptide I hope I'm saying that right um, oligopeptide repair serum now this one is supposed to boost the skin's collagen and reduce wrinkles so you know how like I was saying hyaluronic acid is just going to plump the skin it's not going to really conceal or like get rid of wrinkles sometimes wrinkles are just caused by hydration so that might be enough but if you guys are still seeing some of the wrinkles persisting and they're not super super deep maybe try something like this one because these things are designed to just reduce the appearance of wrinkles and they have one specifically for the under eye which is the coffee eye serum so it's supposed to smoothen fine lines and brighten eye color this is probably the next one I'm going to try out because I do get puffy eyes as well and I know caffeine for a fact helps with puffiness underneath the eyes. So yeah, I'll let you guys know what I think about that serum. So yeah, there you guys go. That is my little secret on how to minimize the appearance or reduce the appearance of wrinkles. Um, hyaluronic acid, it's a life changer. Um, again, if you guys would like to purchase this particular serum, definitely check out the description box down below. You guys will have a link there. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, and don't forget to hit the like button if you haven't already. Hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't already. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!